Hi, Genki Call here with Leonis Empire for the week of April 22nd, 2024. First off, the lore. Da -da -ba. Venerabolix, the oldest dragon in Dragon's Claw, was not yet born when Amatiel was imprisoned, but he did have some insight. Ancient prisons of this nature would need four ancient powered crystals to access. Fortunately for us, he knew where we could obtain some. Our first step would be the Leonis Empire, which is where we are this week. And your uh, bonus for completing this week's tasks is a plus five armor. All right, shop first, then we'll go over the troops that you can get with your event keys. So first head into resources, grab your spoils of war. It's a fantastic deal for these event keys. There is a max of 10. I recommend doing this every week if you can afford it. Um, because every key is a chance at a mythic. And then go into weekly event, grab your um, your glory troop, uh, troop for the week. This one is going to explode one whole gem boosted by Empire, Leonis Empire allies. So maximum, you're going to be able to explode five gems with this. Pretty um, underwhelming troop, I would say. One gem. <laughs> My goodness, um, pretty underwhelming. However, it is another troop to get you towards that um, getting your power levels up. He is immune to entangle. He has a little bit of skull damage reduction. I'd say this is a useless troop. However, I will be maxing it because uh, everything has to be maxed out so that I can get those power levels up when I'm able to. Uh, righty, plus you get all of the other nice... Um, resources as well all right let's head in here and i will show you what you can get with your event keys this week let's sort by da -dum -dum, base rarity and first let's go over the troops you cannot get with your event keys such as leonis tower which you can only get by crafting the king of thieves and all of the city of thieves mm, troops Anything that says City of Thieves here can only be obtained in the Underworld with your Chaos Shards. And then the Emperor. Uh, the Emperor is a tarot card. You can only get him from the Vault. And then one more thing, and that is the Lion Commander, which you can only get in the event for Raid Boss this week. Okay, so as far as... As far as the... Uh, sorry, the Mythics go. These three... I would say the most useful is the voice of Orpheus. He's very good looking too. <laughs> and it's not because of his spell, although it is very nice to have that cleanse for all of the allies, plus an additional five mana for all allies. You're not often going to be casting him, at least not on the team that I use. It's for the cleanse. Cleanse all allies every time you match yellow gems, and this is extremely useful in the... Uh, under the <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my brain is not working in the dungeon. So I already did my battles, but the team that I use here, I got from Chris Purpose. It's an excellent team. Let me show you. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Sorry, sorry. Uh, here it is. This team from Chris Purpose. We've got Mechanist Class to get a 50% mana start for Bork, who blows up the whole board. Uh, Voice of Orpheus will clear off those um, one single match of yellow will cleanse your whole team unless you're stunned. Um, and usually it will fill up Bork because you're using Mechanist class and you don't need much mana. Bork blows things up, you cast Tesla, everything goes bye-bye. It's really great. Um, and the Essence of Evil will, you know, is very useful for making sure that you don't get damaged by skulls. And also that Fairy Fire will make Tesla... Do more damage so let me see let me go back in here a little off this morning hang with me folks let me go back into base rarity anyway crisp is an awesome team do love that uh let's see so dow oh dow i don't like dow eliminate um basically half of your magic from a, of a random skill on an enemy, destroy eight gems of one of their mana colors, then repeat two more times for random enemies. He's like the inverse of Shabanu Vespera. The difference is Shabanu Vespera is awesome and he is not. <laughs> Shabanu can loop 
is almost guaranteed to loop if you use her right. Dao, you might be able to loop if you're very lucky. I'm not in love with this troop, for sure. Um, I haven't given him much of a chance, though, I admit. So if you have a great Dao team, I would love to hear it. Post it down in the comments for me. Flame of Anu, his spell is not great. Damage to the first two enemies boosted by burning and fairy-fired enemies. Um, you get an additional five damage for each burning and each fairy-fired enemy, which is great. However, it means that the fewer enemies you're fighting, the, the more ha that have died, the less damage it's going to do. Uh, what saves this troop and what people generally overlook because the spell is not great is this burn and fairy fire a random enemy when matching four plus gems this is actually really powerful and people just you know ever since he came out they look at that spell and they're like nah the spell's awful but they forget this third trait is actually quite good so take that as you will next up we have divine ishbala who you know she is fantastic at looping on the right team Red gems the skulls, green gems the yellow, enchant two random allies, all good, plus 40% mana start for divine allies. So, um, she's actually very, very good. Took me forever to get her. I think it took me seven months to get her after I started playing. Ah, that is neither here nor there, though. Emperor Korvash is going to do true damage to the first two enemies only, stun them, drain their mana, and stuns a random enemy on every 4 plus gem match. Now the stun is great. It's not as useful now that Elementalist exists, but it's still a good troop that I hardly ever use, but it, you know, he is a good troop. Next is Garion. Garion converts green gems to blue, purple gems to doom skulls. Oh, I love doom skulls. Drain two mana from all enemies, and he's going to poison and stun a random enemy when for, uh, matching four plus gems. I always forget about this guy. He also starts a doomstone at the start of battle. He came out not too terribly long ago, but I do really like this troop. I just need to remember to use him because I like it. What I don't like and what I don't appreciate is Regent Caliph. And that's because I've had bad luck with... I've had bar, bad RNG with Regent Caliph. This one's going to straight up gain four magic, magic, period. And either gain life or do damage to all enemies or gain 10 more magic. And if he just keeps gaining more magic, he is completely useless. He never would hit all enemies like I wanted him to. It just, or she with a mustache. I think it's a, I think it's a woman in disguise, to be honest. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not fond of this troop and I won't use her be, or uh, that, them. I won't use them because, um, yeah, not a fan. Not a fan. Just have had really terrible luck with this troop. Vault only, Amira, you get for completing the storyline here. Corbin Half Half Elf, we had hoped that he was going to be really good for, um, for gold farming teams. Explode three gems boosted by my gold with a 10 to 1 ratio. So you take your gold and divide by 10. If you're at 100, you're going to explode an additional 10 gems. So, eh, eh. And he doesn't even have... He doesn't even have the merchant trait, so, you know, eh, he's okay, he's okay. I haven't had the best of, of luck with him. There are other things I prefer to use personally. Next up, City of Thieves. Do, 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 do. Let me see what else we've got here that is notable. So, looking at these, Monster Muncher is interesting because he has a 50% chance to devour monsters. But beyond that... Dun, 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 dun. The most interesting thing here is going to be Tegraki Warrior. If you do not have Tegraki Warrior yet, this is the best troop in the game for bounty at this moment. And if you don't have him yet, I highly recommend using some event keys to try and get him because he is fantastic for bounty. And pretty much everyone uses him. Bounty is boring, but this guy makes it go a little bit faster because... Um, if you don't damage their armor, he's going to do a bunch more damage, and uh, it's true damage, so you can get rid of them more quickly. So uh, beyond that, I don't think there's anything super interesting in here. So let's head into the events for the week, and what have we got? 
All right, so let's see. On Tuesday, Tuesday's the Faction Assault, we have City of Thieves, which I was just talking about. On Wednesday, we have Alex. This will give you extra turns in the treasure hunt. On Thursday, we have the War Priest class trial. And, oh gee, look, Bounty is coming this weekend. So, good time to get to Grocky Warrior if you don't have it yet. Meh, Bounty. Does have good rewards if you get good, good RNG, but otherwise, pretty boring event coming up. So, it's a, a pretty laid-back week this time. Uh, one last thing I want to mention. Of course, we do have the Raid Boss this week. Be absolutely sure that you have the Lion Commander on your team because he will have double magic. He's going to hit twice as hard as anything else. And he gets you double the score. You definitely need that if you want to get all of the reward tiers um, for this event. Also, da -dum -da, so you get him in the shop starting at tier two and of course there is a new weapon as well the lion's reach which is actually pretty good <laughs> i do love my splody weapons and you now he explodes the weapon or explodes the gems and this third or this final trait here will give you an additional four mana so you're going to be filling things up you're going to be blowing things up you get mana from that, you'll get an additional four mana just from using the weapon. So I think this is going to be able to be cast pretty often. I'm hopeful that it's going to be a good one. I love all the splody weapons, I understand, but <laughs> this one looks extra nice. So anyway, I hope that you have a wonderful day or night wherever you may be. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you folks soon. Bye-bye!